In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a quote in Zoho Books. Whether you're new to Zoho Books or just looking to streamline your quoting process, this step-by-step -step guide will help you get started quickly and efficiently. First things first, make sure you're signed into your Zoho Books account. Open your preferred web browser and head to the Zoho Books sign-in page. Once you're there, click on the sign-in button. You'll be prompted to choose a sign-in method, and for ease of access, we'll use Google. So go ahead and click on the Google option. If you're already logged into a Google account, Zoho Books will ask you to choose which account you'd like to use. Choose your preferred Google account here. It's a straightforward process, but do remember, depending on your internet speed, it might take a little while to load everything. Just be patient as it works in the background. Now that we're logged in, let's navigate to the Sales tab. This tab is your go-to spot for managing sales related documents within Zoho Books. Click on Sales and from the drop down menu select Quotes. This section will show you any existing quotes you have and from here we can easily begin creating a new one. Look for the Create New Quote button, typically located at the top right of your quotes dashboard and click on it. This action will open a new page where you can input all necessary details for your quote. Start by filling in the customer's name. If you've previously added customer details to your Zoho Books account, you'll find it helpful because those details can automatically fill some of the fields for you. Next, input your quote number. This is a unique identifier for your quote, and many businesses follow a specific numbering sequence to keep things organized. Then add the quote date, which is the date you are issuing the quote, followed by the expiry date. The expiry date is crucial as it sets a deadline for when the quoted prices and terms are valid. Make sure to align this date with your business policy. After the dates, it's time to dive into the item details. Here, you'll specify the products or services you're quoting for. Be sure to include descriptions, quantities, unit prices, and any applicable taxes or discounts. Thoroughness here will prevent misunderstandings later on. Once all details are correct and complete, you can finalize the process by clicking the Save and Send button. This will not only save your quote in the system, but also give you the option to send it directly to your customer via email, ensuring your quote reaches them promptly. And that's it, you've successfully created a quote in Zoho Books. With practice, this process will become a quick part of your routine. Thank you for watching, and feel free to reach out with any questions or feedback. 